Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about basic polynomial operations. We're going to find each product. So, if I was given this product, x squared minus 2x minus 8 times negative x squared plus 3x minus 5, all right? Well, what I want to do is multiply all parts of my first parenthesis by all parts of my second parenthesis, okay? So, x squared times a negative x squared, okay, it's a negative x to the fourth power. Then, x squared times a 3x, right here, is a 3x to the third power. Oops. I don't like that 3 that neat there. Excuse me. Third power. Now, we have x squared times a negative 5 is a negative 5x squared, okay? Then from there, we multiply, all right, we finish the x squared, the negative 2x. So negative 2x times a negative x squared is a positive, right, positive 2x to the third power. Negative 2x times a 3x is a negative 5x squared, right, negative 5x squared. Okay. Oh my goodness, not five. Ooh. What did I get for thinking about addition? It's six. Common thing. Can't believe I did that, but it's negative six x squared. I do that sometimes. Oof, I caught myself. So we have a negative six x squared. Okay. Then negative two x times a negative five is a positive ten x. Okay. So, lastly, we deal with the negative 8. Negative 8 times a negative x squared is a positive 8x squared. Negative 8 times a negative 3 is a negative 24, okay, 24x. And negative 8 times a negative 5 is a positive 40. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange uh, to have all my like terms next to each other. So the highest degree is the fourth power. So we just bring down the negative x to the fourth power. And I put a little dot showing that I brought that down. Now the third powers. We have plus 3x to the third. Right here, and I bring down plus 2x to the third as well. Nothing else to the third power. Now we bring down the second power, the square. Minus 5x squared, right here minus 6x squared, bring that one down, and minus, or plus, 8x squared. Then from there, we uh, bring down our x's, so we have plus 10x, and then minus 24x, and then I'm going to bring down the plus 40. And I should now have every single term brought down. All right, so now let me... Uh, Go simplify this. Combine the like terms. Well, negative x to the fourth is the to fourth power uh, there. But the third power is right. We have 3x squared and 2x to the third power. Well, we add those together, right? And that's me fairly simple. 3x, uh, 3x squared and I'm sorry, 3x to the third and 2x to the third power. That's a 5. That one's a 5. 5x to the third power. Now let's go with the squares here. Now this is probably, this is how I like to see it, right? Negative six x squared plus eight x squared is a positive two x squared plus a negative five is a minus three x squared. Okay, got the squares down. Bring them with just the x's here. We have a negative twenty four x plus ten x, which is a negative or minus fourteen x, and we bring down the plus forty. All right. So now we have our final answer of negative x to the fourth plus 5x to the third minus 3x squared minus 14x plus 40. So quick recap. I was given x squared minus 2x minus 8 uh, times negative x squared plus 3x minus 5. I multiplied all parts of my first parenthesis by all parts of my second parenthesis. All right? And in doing that, I got this whole long thing. I then rearranged that, rearranged that the highest degrees first, and had our like degrees, uh, like terms next to each other, okay? And I used my little dot method to make sure I didn't lose anything. Then, from there, I combined my like terms to get, again, our final answer, negative x to the fourth plus 5x to the third minus 3x squared minus 14x plus 40.